Yes, yeah, so another popular culprit of pulled shots is early release. I saw even awesome camper here she attended my virtual camp she braved the cold to send me her swing which is great i'm gonna go ahead and play it out all right so she fights pulls all right the balls always go left for her so one of the reasons why is her finish she can't get to a complete finish because she's a little steep so you can see on her finish she's super flat-footed all right so that's a popular culprit of pulls the other culprit in Leslie's case is conceptual. And one of the first questions I ask if someone early releases is conceptually how are they trying to hit the ball? And in her case, she was actually trying to get under it. All right, so you can really see that here. She's actually trying to get under it. All right, and it's just making her balls go left, coupled with her downswing plane which is stalling out her body so she can't get to a finish so she's basically got a double double whammy there causing her pulls all right so she's early releasing meaning she's kind of working this way with the club all right she's getting under the ball and that's creates our the club going out we lose our angles all right so that is early release all right, well, she's got a little cup here. All right. So sometimes it's conceptual, finish, too steep. Those are three popular ones. All right, she was pulling it all day long, and it was simply conceptual. All right, so that's a very popular one. Really understanding that we don't get under the ball. All right, we actually come down on it with a little bit of an attack angle, except with our driver where we hit up but we're actually not trying to get under it. All right, so what do I mean by under it, really? Where this trail hand is kind of scooping under and you have this look going through. All right, so I want you guys to be crystal clear on what I mean by hitting slightly down on the ball. Now, she's got a hybrid in her hand, so she's treating that as an iron. I have a seven iron, all right? So I'm just gonna play it out and point out a couple key points. All right, I actually really like her takeaway. It's really good. All right, so on the downswing, all right, you can see that she doesn't have uh, a lot of hinge here. So we definitely need to get her a little more hinge. All right, because she's, she's not really setting the club properly. I'm going to, I've already started my downswing, so I'm going to pause myself. So she's trying to get it by going a little long. She gets out of position. All right, but she's staying real center, but her spine is going a little bit this way. All right, prefer this kind of angle. Safer for the spine. And it's easier to shallow the club, really come up and down the same path, where she's going to kind of come over it and chop at it. And part of this for her is just conceptual. She was trying to get under it. All right, so as she starts down, as we start down, you can see what's missing here a little bit because she... Didn't quite load properly in the backswing. She stacked over this trail hit, hip. She's not able to move the pressure efficiently. All right, so because of that, she's going to get upper body dominant. So you can see her, her hip is jutted this way. All right, so the only way back is to slide. She's not going to be able to really leverage the ground. Where if you look at me over here, as I get to the top, watch as I move my pressure to the front. See that? Boom, it's already moved. All right, so that's a big part of being able to shallow the club. All right, she didn't load properly in the backswing, so she wasn't really able to move the pressure efficiently into the downswing. But again, the big part of it for her is conceptual. She's actually trying to get under it. All right, so she didn't move her pressure, so she's just going to come straight on top of it. So you can see the difference with the angle here. All right, that's a big difference here. All right, and that stems from not loading properly, conceptual. All right, so you can see her angles are completely gone. All right, and you can see how static 
her lower body is. And I'm using her as an example because she's awesome. She braved the cold. But a lot of players struggle with this. So I really wanted to show this to you so you're clear on why things happen. All right, why do balls go left? And this is a popular one. Look at her feet. They really haven't budged. I'm almost on my toe here. And I've got most of my pressure on the front side now. All right, so that's really allowing me to come into the ball strongly. All right, that's a big deal. You can see I have my angles. I get, I'm coming down on the ball a little bit. I'm going to hit the ball, then divot. All right, where she's going to actually come up on it like this. She's going to swing up. I'm swinging down. This, again, conceptually, she was trying to swing under it, so that makes sense. All right, and you can see that her... Her trail hand's underneath. She's got a little cup here. My trail hand is more on top. I call the shake hands position, right, where this lead wrist is flat. So that, that in a nutshell, is where players go off and why balls go left. All right, so she can see she's all jammed up in here. No extension. Feet still haven't budged. I'm on my toe, getting to my toe able to get to a finish All right but she does an amazing job at the end getting her upper body to a finish but she just kind of stalled out down here and it was all a product of conceptual going a little too long in the backswing which took her out of the ground with her hips and pelvis and then not coming through properly on the downswing. All right, so let me know if that all makes sense. I wanted to share this with you because this is a very popular culprit. All right, so another popular culprit of pulled shots is early release. All right, so if you're, you have an open club face at the top of your swing or coming down, say you're cupping your lead wrist and that's opening the face, in order to square the face, you have to early release it. All right, so if you're super open, you have to early release, all right? And you're most likely gonna pull your shot. So really make sure that your club face is square so you can properly release versus early releasing, all right? That's a big deal.